Six years ago, my wife and I visited London in the UK, and like any sensible tourist in England, we stopped by Trafalgar Square. You know, the place with the lions. If you've ever been there, you know that just south of the square is this big roundabout with several lanes going in different directions, along with these big traffic islands for pedestrians to stand on while you wait for the light to turn. So as we left the square, we ended up on one of these islands waiting for the traffic. Right at that moment, a guy on the other side of the street with a guitar, a microphone, and a tiny PA started playing the intro to the song Wonderwall by Oasis. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Oasis, but when I was 21 years old, Wonderwall was the most popular song in the world. And we all knew it. It was on TV, it was on radio, at any given instant. He starts playing the intro and immediately people start to gather around him. Verse one. Today was gonna be the day they were gonna throw it back to you. There's probably 10 people around him, along with 10 of us on this island and we're all kind of bobbing our heads. Pre-chorus. But all the roads we have to walk are winding. The people around him and around us have suddenly doubled in size. There are clearly a couple of people that have started to sing, but there is a vibe now that can be felt in the crowd. Then the light changes and he hits that chorus. Suddenly gonna be the one who saves me. Suddenly, I would say about 60 people are singing Wonderwall at full voice, including me and my wife. Actually, we don't even break stride. We're walking and singing, and in that instant, I lock eyes with a man I'm pretty sure was homeless. And as the song gets to the line, and after Me and this homeless stranger in London point at each other and sing, You're my wonder wall. It was truly amazing and kind of something I'll never ever forget. But this isn't a new thing. Singing music triggers the release of endorphins, oxytocin, and even dopamine in the brain. The right hemisphere of your brain is actually more active when you sing than when you speak. And group singing, it doesn't just bring us together. In 2013, Bjorn Vikhoff led a study at the University of Gothenburg in Sweden. The study assessed a group of 15 18 year olds singing together. What he found was that when singing, not only were their voices synchronized, not only was their breathing synchronized, but their heartbeats also lined up. This goes back to neuropsychologist Donald Hebb's idea that cells that fire together, wire together. Per this Hebbian theory, when we sing and listen within a group, our neural networks are actually wiring together. We're connecting with other people in a deep and immersive way. Circling back to Oasis, after the tragic bombing in 2017 at Manchester Arena after an Ariana Grande concert, the city gathered to observe a moment of silence for the victims. And then something magical happened. A woman in the crowd started singing Don't Look Back in Anger by Oasis. And then the crowd started singing with her. Music transforms. Music heals. But most of all, music and singing bring us together like nothing else ever could. So sing. Sing together. Sing loud and sing like nobody is listening. This video goes out to my newest friend in the town of Rugby, England. 
Ruben. Thank you for showing me what singing from your heart and soul is all about. Don't ever stop singing, my friend.